Hey, welcome to a quick look at Crowd Trivia. I'm going to do a real quick walkthrough to you up and around at this game as quick as possible. So imagine you've already got all your buzzers are already set out there. You can have up to 24 buzzers. Uh, we highly recommend the wireless buzzers from affordablebuzzers.com. The link will be below. Uh, but essentially, you so going, hey, if you want to play one buzz in now, and you'll see people start buzzing in all over the place. I'm doing it for my keyboard, and so I'm going to just take me a second to find all of them because I don't have them all ready to go. And there we go. So what's going to happen? Okay, everyone's buzzed in now. If they want to check their buzzer at any time, they can they can buzz in. You can kind of see uh, you can kind of buzz in to light up, and they can find themselves and check that their buzzer is working. So all you do, it's real easy. When you're ready to play, just hit show question right here. It's going to flip over and reveal the first question. Hey, what is the Spanish word for donkey? Piece of cake, right? We got this. So they, it's nice and big here so they can all see it. And then you'll notice that this is now, everything's grayed out except for the one thing we can do, which is show answer. So we're going to show the first possible answer. Now they can buzz in whenever they want. And then the faster they buzz in, the more points they're going to get. And then we don't know, is that the right answer or the wrong answer? If it's, so we're going to hit, again, everything's grayed out except for the button that they're going to, that you can click. So you click on that, check the answer. No, it's not that. So if they did vote for that, you sorry, you've been eliminated. You you have to wait for the next question. So let's check our next possible answer. Is it perro? Well, I'm I'm no Spanish expert, but I don't think that's it. But let's check that answer. Oh, it is not. Okay. All right, we lost some people here, but let's see that next answer. See if it goes up. Is it Toro? People can buzz in. Time's gonna run up, and you can see the faster buzzing and the more points you're gonna get. Check that answer. No, it's not that one either. Oh my goodness. We're getting down, we're losing a lot of people here. Let's see the next possible answer. Is it Burro? Burro, okay. So people have buzzed in, and it looks like Blue Circle here, I think, is gonna do pretty good. So we're gonna check that answer, and it is. So those people will get those points. If they didn't vote, then they've been eliminated. So now we can see that uh, this round's over, so all that's left to do is to update the leaderboard. So we hit update leaderboard. Those uh, the highest score will go to the top left, and then you'll see all everyone else kind of trickle back down here. If they want again, you can check your buzzers right here, or you can just go to the next question. So let's just go one more. Um, what is the highest number of Michelin stars a restaurant can receive? Oh, good question. So let's uh, let's show the first uh, possible answer. Is it six? Sure, it sounds good to me. All these people think it's six. <laughs> So let's see, we're gonna check that answer. Oh, no, sorry, you've been eliminated. And so you can see this is really easy to host because they just keep asking, oh, let's see our next possible answer. Is it five? Well, gosh darn it, I think it is. Let's check that answer. Oh, no, <laughs> I just wiped out a whole bunch of people. If everyone gets eliminated, it'll just go on to the next one, but let's show the next possible. Is it four? I really hope it is. All right, let's check that answer. Oh no, we're in trouble now. Oh my goodness, there's only three possible people left. Is it three? Goodness, this is a tough one. Buzzing in, so we're gonna check that answer. And it was three. Oh my goodness, that took out so many people. That was a brutal question. Oh my goodness, that was a tough one. So we're moving on up, let's update the leaderboard, see what's going. And oh my goodness, Red Heart, you've moved on way up there. You are a big mover this round. <laughs> Good job. So you can see over here on our right, we got a couple of extra uh, call outs. We got Big Mover and Brutal Question. That you can just kind of add those in once or twice per game to kind of just give a little bit of uh, extra fun to kind of highlight different people. One of the tricks of this game is to really just, it's for the host to be conversational with the uh uh, with people playing so he can kind of comment keep things moving along and you can say hey blue circle you're doing great or hey where's a where's green triangle at where are you guys at or where's i mean green pyramid where are you at and you have a little fun with them now the way the scoreboard works the highest score will be in the top left so this is gonna be our winner so we know whenever we want we can play the game as long as we want uh and then when you're done just hit winner all right good job blue circle fantastic and that's how you play the whole game. You can just keep on playing if you want. Now, uh, all the questions in here, we got 130. If you hit edit, it'll open up this really cool edit screen. And so with this screen open, you can uh, come down here. These are the default questions. So no matter what, if you've deleted everything, you can always hit this low default question and it'll bring back to here. But what you can do is you can do uh, save as, I mean, call this my questions demo. So just click on there and type in 
and then I'm going to save it to my documents. And now I'm working on a whole new set. So I, now I can come in here and I can, I can delete questions and I can add questions and type them in. You type your question in here. The answer is the very first slot and you can have up to six other answers. Now you don't have to fill in all six, but what's going to happen is every time you load this, the, the, the game is going to randomize all your answers. So if you only have three, it'll, it'll randomize what order they come in. So the answer might be the first one or it might be the third one. So if you have six possible answers, it might be the, the fifth one or it might, it might be the sixth or it might be the, the first. It, it'll just going to be random. With me that it'll be different every single time you play the game. Well, that's not true if you only have six every sixth time you play the game, but that's a statistical number. We'll, get, we'll talk more about that later. No, we're not. We'll never talk about that later. Okay, so moving moving on. If you want to, you can start a whole new set like this and just start typing in all your own answers. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I've deleted all my questions. What am I going to do? Well, then you can always come back here and just hit load default and you're back to all the original, all 137 of these questions. If you if you do find a, a typo or something, you can go in there and edit that as needed. Now, what's really cool when you do the save as or open file, I can remember I can hit open file here and it's going to bring in um, these are all the questions that I have loaded. It's going to save them onto my crowd trivia um, into my crowd trivia folder in my documents folder. So now I can load multiple different sets in here and you hit open on that. Cancel that for now. So you can open, save as, edit add to it's fantastic you just hit the play to go back to it and you're ready to play this game when you're all done if you just hit uh, if you accidentally trigger a question and you're like whoops didn't mean to do that let's clear that question you can clear it out right there and you're back to the cool logo screen now if you want to start a whole new game just hit reset game and there you go you're all set ready to go for people to buzz back in and have some fun so you can play with up to 24. If you've only got 10 people, then it'll just it'll just play just like this, and um, it, it'll it'll work with less than 24. If people, you can be running with five and or run with however many you want. Get the game going. People can enter the game whenever they want, so you can always buzz in later on. The buzzers are always listening, or the game is always listening for the buzzers. So. The game is really flexible. Hopefully you'll have a whole lot of fun. If you have any questions, let us know. But really, I hope you enjoy playing some crowd trivia.